We are excited at the prospect of Se uh, Secretary of State Kerry representing us and, and speaking on his behalf. Um, Our hope is that Iran, with their tendency to respect the eldest son's role in the family, to return home and take care of what their father could not provide in the case of death or illness, that they would find a, a way to release him out of a humanitarian cause. Uh, we've tried to uh, obtain an attorney and to take his case to the Supreme Court. We've tried multiple avenues. We've really tried appealing with letters to members of the judiciary, to the supreme leader, to the president of Iran, making it clear to him even when he was here in the U.S. that we want to know what developments have taken place in Amir's case. His dad is very worried about him. He just want to see him. He always said, I want to see him before I go. And uh, I'm, I'm here to tell uh, Iranian that please let Amir come home. We want the world to know that Amir won't be forgotten. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, happy Friday. Welcome to the State Department. Uh, you know, we've been very clear. There's uh, a few of these cases of American citizens where we've been uh, very clear and, and robust in our public commentary that they should be freed. Um, I can't get into sort of our private diplomatic efforts uh, because they're, again, very sensitive in terms of trying to help secure their release, but um, we've been very focused on his case and indeed the others that you've mentioned. Could be it is a one sided approach to honor victims on one side and ignore uh, victims of.